What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Behind the Bat podcast. I'm Kai Binswacker. And I'm Ryder Howe. This podcast is brought to you by the CCHS Newsroom. In this week's podcast, we'll be talking about different baseball pitches and techniques. Different ways to field a baseball. And at the end of our podcast, we pick one player and rate their drip 1 through 10. And this week's player is Max Clark. Starting off our podcast, we'll be talking about different pitches. So yeah. the most common pitch in baseball is probably, I'd say, the four-seam just regular pitch, it's just the regular fastball, just a straight pitch, and yeah, most common pitch ever thrown. Usually, pitcher's favorite pitch, best pitch that they have. Yeah. Just the e- easiest to pitch. Usually a starting pitch, the first pitch they throw to a batter, <laughs> and – Another type of fastball that we have is the two seam, which it's, it's pretty much just like the four seam, just tails a little bit. Yeah. Um, the curveball. The curveball is a little different. It has the ball goes out and down. So it has like it has like, like a, a weird rotation to it yeah. that makes it has go. A, has a weird spin and it's a, a breaking ball is what they call it. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. The knuckle ball. Knuckleball is really, really hard to master. Yes, I think. But when you get it down, it's pretty crazy. Uh, it, it wobbles, and at the very end, it kind of drops off. So it's it's a hard, it's really it's hard, a hard baseball pitch to, hit. to hit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um. Let's see. The slider. The slider is almost a lot like the curveball. It just but, doesn't drop as much. It drops a tad, but nothing like the curveball. Yeah. But it definitely um, tails out. The knuckle curve, which is my favorite pitch to pitch but um it it does wobbling just like the knuckleball does and it curves as well so while it's wobbling it goes down and um out it's very nasty pitch yeah uh another pitch we have is the change up a type of change up is the circle change Uh, it has like a little bit of a spin but it's kind of like a fastball it moves a little bit but it's just another pitch you can throw just to kind of get with the batter's head yeah um let's see we have the splitter it usually just wobbles and drops as well um another pitch we have is the cutter it just tails a little bit it's pretty much just as fast as a fastball but maybe a tad slower yeah so practically just like the two seam yeah basically um let's see we have the fork ball which is also really really hard to master yes but if you can master it it'll work say about 95 percent of the time it's a hard pitch to hit unless you're yeah. lucky it's a hard pitch to throw as well since yeah. the way you have to hold it is just weird um let's see we have the the slurve which is a mix with a slider and a curveball it's pretty nasty i'd say it drops more than a curveball yeah and then finally we have the screwball which breaks opposite of a curveball so if you're a right-handed pitcher curveball basically breaks outwards so it'll break inwards this screwball will yeah that's that's a pretty crazy pitch to hit yeah because looks like it's going right down the plate and then just comes other half just jams, comes yeah and hits you right right in the elbow um let's see that's it for the pitches and we're going to move on to techniques and oh, okay i guess there's three <laughs> types of techniques uh the first one we're going to be talking about is the wind up yeah so the windup is usually when there's nobody on base. So you usually, I don't know really how to put it's it. It's like a starting pitch. Yeah, it's for when there's nobody on base. And then uh, there's... Whenever you do have runners on the base, you pitch off the stretch, which you come like you come set, and then you start your pitching motion. Windup is kind of like an all-in-one motion. Yeah. Um, You have the submarine which that's kind of like a a sidearm pitch but it's pretty low yeah it's like a really really low sidearm pitch it's very uncommon to see if you see it you're kind of thinking like wow that's crazy and stuff like that yeah okay so that's it for those and then finally we have different ways to field a ground ball yep first is the backhand this is for like if a ball is hit pretty far away you can get to it by using a backhand, it's where you like flip your glove the other way and across you your body. And you don't have to slide. Yeah. It's just kind of like a smoother way to pick up the ball. Yeah. Um, and then you just have like the normal, it's just in between the legs and yep. routine. Routine, easy, easy. Yep. 
And then if you want to get crazy with a ball that's like hit really far away, you can dive for it, which is hard to do. But once you get yourself to do it, it's easy. Everybody wants to have a, a diving play at some point in yeah. their career. And then you also have the do or die. That's basically if a ball is hit really slow, you run up on it. And while you're running, you throw the ball at the same time. It just saves time. And That's really hard to master with your throwing because yeah. – you it can, tails a lot whenever yeah. you do that because you your body's your, going one way and the ball's going the other way. Yeah. So now we're at the end of our podcast where we do our favorite, which is the drip the, segment. The drip. This week's player is Max Clark, the stud rookie. Yes, sir. He got drafted to the Detroit Tigers. He got drafted first round, third pick. Uh, it's crazy coming straight out of high school. He didn't go to any colleges whatsoever. He just came straight yeah. out of high school. He was committed to Vanderbilt, but poor Vanderbilt didn't even get to have him on the team because Detroit drafted him straight out of high school. Yeah, that, that sucks for Vanderbilt, but good for him. Yeah, he's a really good player. Uh, yeah. He's a center fielder, a lefty. Really good player. He, he played for USA, like Team USA as a high schooler. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. He is a stud, but... He Anyways, went, he went to Franklin High School in Kentucky. Yeah. Anyways, let's see his drip here, Kai. Well, he's got the eye black. He's got eye black the and chains, the, the Bruce Bolts, nice oh yeah. bats, the ankle and elbow guard when oh he's yeah. hitting, pink a- elbow and ankle guard. Oh, yeah. Which is sweet. He's got gloves hanging out of his back pocket. Oh, it's pretty. He's got some pretty cool he's got drip. some wristbands. He's got it all. Oh, yeah pretty cool he's got i think he's got some tattoos as well yeah which just some 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 players some like him some players don't yeah he has wrist tape on his wrist and yep yeah got some cool cleats too to complete it yep sun oakley sunglasses which is pretty sweet oh yeah oh yeah got all the necklaces and everything <laughs> yeah all right that's it for this week's podcast thank you for tuning in this week and we'll see you on the next one Peace. Peace.